This is the VOA Special English Health Report. When we think of threats to public health, we often think of communicable diseases. But experts say non-communicable diseases, those that do not spread from person to person, are the leading killer today. These are often the result of poor diet, environmental influences, including tobacco and alcohol use, or genetics. Now, the World Health Organization has released its first global status report on non-communicable diseases. In 2008, they caused 63% of all deaths, and 80% of those deaths were reported in developing countries. These countries are spending billions to treat conditions like cancer, heart disease, and diabetes. The WHO says the costs of treating non-infectious diseases are pushing millions of people into poverty. WHO Director General Margaret Chan says, for some countries, it is no exaggeration to describe the situation as an impending disaster, a disaster for health, society, and national economies. Conditions that last for years are also known as chronic diseases. Population changes are driving the increase in cases. Populations in many developing countries are growing quickly and living more in cities. Aging populations also play a part. Chronic diseases become more common as people get older. Dr. James Ospedales is a chronic disease expert at the WHO. He says chronic diseases are a major problem in big countries like the United States, India, and China, and across Latin America and the Mediterranean. And they are expected to become the leading cause of death in many African nations by 2020. Dr. Ospedales says some middle and low income countries are beginning to recognize that their health policies must deal more with prevention. He says the WHO estimates that over 30 million lives could be saved in the next 10 years by simple measures. For example, reducing the level of salt in diets by 15 to 20 percent, reducing tobacco use, and increasing preventive treatment for people at risk of a heart attack and stroke. The WHO is the United Nations Health Agency. The General Assembly plans to hold its first high-level meeting on the prevention and control of non-communicable diseases. The meeting will take place in New York this September. For VOA Special English, I'm Alex Villarreal. To read and listen to more health news and for English teaching activities, go to voaspecialenglish.com.